All right. Welcome everyone to the Indie Contributors Working Group call for June 6, 2023. Today on the agenda, we'll talk about any updates there might be on the sovereign node pipeline and then a discussion about Indie community contribution, I think will be the main part of the call. And then any other topics that anybody would like to bring up um, as well. So let's see. I'm obviously re recording this call and we'll post it right here on the meeting page um, later today. We have got the antitrust policy notice written here. We are following that on this call as well as the Hyperledger code of conduct, which is linked here. And I'll send out the wiki link. Um, if you'd like to put your name on the attendees list, that would be wonderful. Let's see. I am not uh, currently aware of any um, announcements. Would anybody, does anybody have any announcements to give or introductions to make? Um, anybody who would like to introduce themselves on the call um, or give announcements, now would be a great time. There were a few people at the old link, so we're slowly coming into this meeting. Anybody is aware of uh, people who don't have the new link? Um, please uh, let people know so that they can resave the calendar event. Um, we'll try to try to make sure everybody gets that new link so that nobody's um, going to the old room. But yeah. Getting that done. Let's see. Can you post that new link in the in the chat again so I can update my calendar? Yes, I will do that. Good idea. Yeah, I'll probably go back to the uh, this page, calendar of public meetings, and then just resave the event for this call so yeah all right let's see um so unless anybody has any announcements or introductions they would like to make before we get started uh we can jump into our agenda um up any updates on the sovereign node pipeline uh wait no, nothing to report, unfortunately. Hopefully no we'll get worries. back to that very soon. No worries. Um, cool. Uh, let's see. So the next thing on our agenda, um, Stephen was going to lead this discussion. Um, I think he's still in the old Zoom room um, helping people get um, get to the new Zoom. So we can wait for wait for him. Um, to start that conversation. Um, let's see. Oh, and there he is. Hello again, Stephen. Hello there. Um, cool. Yeah, we'll we'll try our best to to get the new Zoom link propagated everywhere. <laughs> um, but let's see. So we have and we have we have made it to this item in the agenda. Um, so I can turn it over to you. Would you like to screen share? Sorry, what are, what where are we in the agenda? <laughs> um, the discussion about indie community contribution that you mentioned. Yeah, okay. Um, give me, yeah, I'm not going to screen share. Okay. It's just um, what I wanted to talk about was, you know, we're we have lots of of users on indie network operators. so, as far as you know, the well-known ones, Sovereign, ID Union, Indicio, Candy, the Swiss EID, and then Findy starting one. So we have at least those many. Um, obviously, that gives us thousands interacting on those networks, issuers, holders, and verifiers. We've got some that are supporting um, Indy indirectly. Um, you know, not contributing directly to the code base too much, but tools, documentation, um, hosting community meetings, uh, you know, all things like that. But 
but very few actual contributors to Indy. Um, and this has been sort of an ongoing theme. Um, BC Gov Sovereign, ESATIS, um, but ESATIS had to back off their participant Institute for Internet Security. We had for a while, Robin Clemens um, did, did a lot of contributions. Bosch has done contributions, but, but basically it's right up to the point that we have essentially BC Gov and Sovereign sponsoring Wade uh, Wade Barnes doing work and, and that's about it. And, you know, that's a problem. So I, I, I'm trying to figure out why we're getting so little contributors and, and try to sort of, you know, figure out how we can get more. Um, you know, I think the reasons are that in the deployments are Indies are, are utilities and therefore they're somebody else's problem. Everyone who's using them is working on their own set of challenges to do with deploying things. And Indie just works. It, it does all that is needed. I, I mean, it could use improvements. It could be easier to onboard. It could be easier to, you know, figure out endorsing and things like that. But um, people just sort of get past that and and it just works um so there's very little demand for new features and no one is really driving the agenda we don't have particularly a lot of um committed you know funding um no real product owner other than those who need to accomplish something and um no one whose job is indie the core of indie as far as i know um the only people who's jobs are indie are those um deploying it so so worrying about their own instance of it um so I, I think we have to start thinking about you know why are there so few contributors and if there aren't going to be any contributors what are we going to do um there aren't very many good options um particularly for those types of communities that are interested in indie uh, other ledgers are not particularly appetizing as far as I know. There's I, Ion is the big one, Microsoft Ion. Um, it doesn't at least yet have an on-cred support and it's Bitcoin based. I mean, governments, as far as I know, are not going to want to sign into a, a, a ledger that is Bitcoin based. It's just not feasible. Um, cryptocurrency based ledgers, there's a whole pile of them, but um, it's a lot tougher to do that. And outside of that, there's, um, you know, governance issues, um, which, which is going to last um, at least, you know, absolutely with Indy, we have control over it. We can, we can deploy it, we can run it, we can bring on operators and so on. Um, the only other one that I'm seeing is did web, but it brings its own range of problems. Um, there's a whole bunch of issues, you know, calling home. So there's the issue of tracking, um, robustness does, you know, a, a, who's operating it would, would be inconsistent. Um, obviously not immutable subject to hacks. People could hack in and replace the did docs. Um, that are posted there. And for good and bad, it's built on the existing CA infrastructure. So um, I I'm, think we're doing the right things as far as as a community coming up with a roadblock. We've got key items to do, um, but we need investment in Indy. And I'm just trying to understand um, what, other, you know, what others feel about that and how... Um, how they feel that we could not just have investment in the deployment of Indy, but actual investment in Indy itself. So I, I, with that, I just throw out for comments. Wade? Um, one of the things I find there are, we get people every once in a while trying to help out on Indy. Um, I think right now, um, documentation isn't, in a good state for people to help out. It's it's kind of old and outdated and, and things like that. Um, 
I'm, I'm wondering if a, a document refresh um, would be a good idea, sort of a, you know, yeah. having a good getting started guide and, and various things on it of, of how, we, how we can move and then maybe we come up with some, you know, simpler tasks that we want to do that we can add to the, you know, good first issues list and things like that. Yeah. And that is something that we as, you know, all of us are, are capable of doing. So that is a good one. I've been- and It, it, it looks like somebody um, just reached out about that from the mentorship program as well. So that's great. Someone who might even be on the call today, I'm guessing. Oh, right. Agnes, is that you? Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'll be yeah. great. And, and I think Node, uh, Node and Plenum were suggested, and those are both Python heavy. Yes. So that'll be great. Any other thoughts from anyone on that? Um, hello, I'm Bruno from ID Lab. Um, sorry, my camera is not working. Um, yeah, I mean, we noticed, and uh, I've been, we've been talking with Wade about that, uh, uh, and I had some hope to, to get funding for uh, furthering, uh, for example, the monitoring part of Indy, because it's one yeah. thing to have it deployed, but uh, yes, Wade? No, I was just agreeing with you, sorry. Okay, no problem. And um, my point is, uh, I'm trying to push something through the ID Lab channels right now in that direction. And I understand totally where you're sitting. I mean, people see that as just infrastructure and just works. So no in real interest, but I mean, we have, we're gonna have to, to, to put some effort into, I mean, uh, raising our awareness about uh, that it might just work, but it's like the, the rest, if you don't maintain it, it's not, it's gonna fall on the wayside eventually. Yeah. I mean, that's a crucial component of it. So it's not insignificant. And I'll actually add that to my notes that there has been, that's been one of the larger um, contributions lately has been, you know, the the ID union work in in containerizing and then the, yeah. the sort of work that's been going on has been excellent. Yep. But that still doesn't, uh, it still leaves that hole that the actual, you know, in the software itself is, uh, you know, needs, needs to move forward. Yep. All right, I'm resisting. I was trying to do a Nathan. I was trying to do a full Nathan, but I couldn't do it. There was silence. Char, back to you. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, let's see. So those were the main things we had on the agenda today. I, I know in, in previous calls, we have spent time going over issues and PRs in Node and Plenum, which I think has been really helpful. So we could continue doing that. I know that we only got um, a little ways into the issues on Indie Plenum. So we could we could revisit that as well. I think there are some some open PRs on Indie Node that potentially we could discuss, um, merge or close. But uh, are there other things that people wanted to bring to the call today? So let's see, I think we, on um, issues on Indie Plenum, I think two weeks ago we started from the earliest ones, um, adding the discussing label. Um, Wade, do you think it's a good use of time to go over these on the call? We could go through a few more. Cool, sounds good. 
Where do we want to start? Um, let's see. I think we were we were starting from the earliest one. So these all look like about three years old. And some of them already have the help wanted good first issue tags on them. So those are probably good ones to keep open unless others have have thoughts on what to do with them. Um, oh, I think we added that two weeks ago. Okay, so we went over those recently and decided to leave them open. Let's see. Investigate and fix possible client node related exceptions leakage into node node processing. Is anybody familiar with this issue? Well, I, I can say that, uh, I mean, looking at the logs of uh, running uh, in the node, we, we, we saw them, but we never knew that they were actually, they, they shouldn't be there. But I, I can say you that if you look at the log of a running node, you're going to have those, yes, those mm -hmm. messages. So this is still uh, happening, in, at least in the, the the version that's running on the on Ubuntu 16. Okay. Good to know. So probably a good one to keep open potentially, <clears throat> maybe adding the discussing label to it. Yeah. Cool. Ah, uh, it does still exist. I'm I'm just reading some of the details in the link. Oh, okay. Um, so it can happen in cases where there's there's one particular case where it happens fairly regularly on the sovereign network. Mm -hmm. We add new nodes. Um, so we wanted to add discussing. Cool. <clears throat> Done. Document question for request handling. Looks like that was marked as a good first issue. Does anybody know about the? I think um, there's an answer actually back. If you go back one, back to the previous page. Uh huh. Okay. General so description. The answer. Um, we just haven't updated the the text. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So. Okay. Documentation so updates to do there. Cool. Good to know. Um, okay, it says document on it. Yeah, okay. Incorrect view change messages, consensus calculating. Uh, yeah, okay, so everything that's in place right now is just a workaround for this issue. Okay. So. Market is help wanted. Cool. I mean, I, I, I'm not that... Uh, um, in sync with the code base, but when you say help wanted, it, I mean you have a you have a workaround, but you you need to, you're searching for a real solution, is it? Yes, correct. Okay.
Okay, replace <clears throat> dependency on Indie SDK with Indie BDR. Um, this has still needs to be done, doesn't it? We didn't do anything with this in, in any of the code with us, even. I don't. I I think um, at least in my memory, the the move from Indie SDK to Indie BDR has been in in terms of the code with us was more on the um, airy side, but yeah. I could be wrong. No, I think you're right. I don't okay. think anything happened with plenum, so this is still a, uh -huh. a thing. Cool. Frozen ledgers should propagate to new nodes in the pool. Let's see. Okay, that hasn't been done. Um, we need to discuss that one further. I can tell. What is the use of a frozen ledger? Um, so the only real use case for it at the moment is to, um, if we wanted to get rid of the uh, token ledgers uh, mm. in sovereign based uh, networks. So basically what it allows you to do is it allows you to freeze the network in time so that it's um, state root hash doesn't change anymore mm. or more like it's fixed. So whether or not the, um, whether or not the ledgers are there anymore, um, the node will report the, the state root hash to those mm -hmm. ledgers as what the, what the value is when it was frozen. Okay. Um, that allows you to then um, either delete delete the ledgers, um, the the corresponding ledgers, or add nodes to the to the pool that don't um, don't do um, don't contain those plugins. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's a fairly limited use case, mm -hmm. but um, it can come in handy. Okay. So uh, this would be like a low prior, like a probably a very low priority. Um, yeah. Okay. Good to know. Um, so, sorry, say that again. What priority would you put this way? I put it as a low priority. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. Cool. Shall I mark it as such, or? I mean, should we just close it? It's unlikely to get done. And or yeah, I don't I'm I'm hesitant to close it because it, it is it is a thing. Yeah. Um okay, put it put it to low. Put, put a do we have a label for low priority? I'll, I'll make I'll make a I'll make yeah. a label for it. Sounds good. Cool. Would you 20.04 migrate the code base from 16.04 to 20.04? Um, would this be <clears throat> completed based on the acceptance criteria? Yes. Cool. This is done. Great. Ubuntu 20.04 creates CD for Ubuntu 20.04. I think so we scroll up to the top. Yeah, that's done. Cool. I like it when things are done. Great. Right. You're not closing them, Shark. She can't. I don't oh, have the to. Oh, I see. So Wade's doing it. Um, yeah, I just need to catch up. So okay. 2004 migrate code base. I'm all excited to see the code closes happening, but I can't. There, now, you, now, now, now you can. Now I'm catching up. Cool. That one got closed. Mm 
do that already. Hang on. Code. Cool. Great. Update pigments module. Oh, it's done. Nice. I gotta keep that done. ICQ is getting huge. Let's see. So it looks like there's potentially a plan, but not an implementation yet. Has anyone else seen this? I see it as when I get uh, what I've been calling my uh, infinite view change issue that I see, uh, okay. it starts to really uh, load up that queue and make the make it huge okay oh i'll set that as you want help wanted sounds like a good tag for this one <clears throat> um. yeah this is this is still an issue Okay. Very, unfortunately, very familiar with that one. Mm -hmm. The fix issue with Debian package checksums changing with each build. Yeah, that's the one I just marked as help wanted. That's still okay. an issue. Great. So, small pain in the butt. So that's a CICD one, right? As opposed to you know Python, yes, that's maybe maybe flag a CICD as another label. Okay, uh, let's do that. Where is that? One? That's a different skill set, obviously. It is. So upgrade rocks DB. Let's see. Still an issue. Looks like it. Upgrade and unpin oh. remaining dependencies. Oh, what were you saying, Wade? I said I, I just labeled the wrong thing. <laughs> That's the one I wanted to label. Uh, what are we at? Uh, RocksDB, yeah, that's still an issue. Uh, upgrade. Mm -hmm unpin remaining dependencies that's still an issue there's still some pin dependencies in there cool github action csd enhancements This one probably still <clears throat> help wanted. Yes. Um, I'll also assign it to myself because there's some updates I need to make on that. Cool.
Uh, this is related to uh, um, one of the other issues that we had. Okay. So that is not wanted. Cool. Test new view combinations, test fails with some seeds. Oh, I just added that as help wanted. Okay, great. Add virtual development environments to the Ubuntu 20.04 upgrade branch. So history on this one is um, currently right now the indie, indie node uh, and indie plenum packages use the system um the system python version um which in some ways limits which uh operating system you, you can deploy it on um due to the default uh python versions that are packaged with, with certain certain os's so one of the thoughts was to um set up node and plenum to use a, a virtual python environment so that it's not not as dependent, um, it's not dependent on the, the OS mm -hmm. so that it uses its own. I still think that's a good idea, um, but that requires work. So let's okay. uh, take it off of Phillips because it's not going to do that anymore. Um, so I think we personally, I think we should still do that. Mm -hmm. um, Oh, hang on. It's development environments, not deployment environments. Sorry, this one is actually done. Um, oh. Different issue. Sorry, I misread okay. the. That one's done. Do you know if there is an open issue for deployment environments? Good question. Um, but it might not be. I'm checking in the indie node real quick here. Don't see one, so mm -hmm. I think we should add it to node. Yeah, we can do that at the end. Okay, cool. Let's see. Details on curve ZMQ. So this has been sitting for over a year and nobody's answered it. Mm -hmm. close it as a stale issue? Probably. I think the person may have yeah. made more noise since then if they if they still were curious. Yeah. Done, closed. Cool. Oh, we need to add them in here, Spile. We do or we don't? Do. I don't think we have one. Oh man. Or do, do we? Hang on. Assign it to me. Yeah, amazingly enough, we don't have one. Okay. Assign it to me. Yep. Mr. Kern has the expertise needed to do that. <laughs> That's pretty funny, Wade. What? <laughs> Nothing. Freshness check triggers one audit transaction per ledger.
Yeah. I mean, we talked about this one, but I believe we didn't do anything about it. So yeah. no, we haven't done anything about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So keep it and we leave it. Is for me, sign it to myself. Cool. Last one problems with rocks DB. Oh, these are both um, ones you just assigned to yourself. Um, cool. Yeah, this one should stay open. So, what do I help point on that one? That is a CICD issue. Okay. Cool. Well, I think uh, we post five or so. We're on one page with issues, which is good. Let's see. And so it sounds like we want to open an issue on um, adding virtual uh, deployment yeah. environments. On yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to do that on Indie Node. OK, great. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm discovering that. Uh, and that that's definitely a new big question. But I mean, what's the difference between the Indie Node and Indie Plenum uh, uh, repositories exactly? Or how did you and Daniel describe the relationship? Um, so any any plenum is sort of the 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 main plumbing for for Indie Node, and then Indie Node is the um, where you sort of implement the the concrete implementations of what's defined in plenum. I think Planum is the is the consensus algorithm, and so those core parts of of the consensus, yeah. and then Node, I think, um, implements the you know things like the processing of requests, okay. and then passes to Planum for the consensus part. Yeah, the where so you would implement new transactions and various things in in Node. Okay, okay. Support, I and then the support for transactions and generals in plenum. Okay, okay. So basically plenum is building a yeah. package or a, a library that's used by node. Yes. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um uh, Agnes, not to put you on the spot, but um, if, if you do have any questions as you're getting started on documentation, feel free to stop anytime to, to ask them. Sure, I'm still getting the hang of it. Absolutely. And Discord, the Discord channel is, is another great place if when questions come up, so. Let's see. All right, yeah, so I think we have we have gone through all of the issues on Node and Plenum. We closed all of the open pull requests on Plenum and there are a few open on Node, but I think for these we're, either we know that they are, um, they need more review or discussion. Um, so we have talked about all of these. Would it be worth revisiting any of these to see if um, we can merge or add specific comments to any of them? Possibly. What was that, Wade? I said possibly. <laughs> <laughs> There's just a few. Um, do we know if if these documentation updates from? No, they haven't moved forward no. at all. Okay. Had a chance to review those, or I I know I haven't. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So I think yeah, we can probably 
leave all of these since we have talked about them before. Um, but I think that is, we've certainly gotten these numbers down quite a lot in the past weeks and months. So great. Let's see, are there other agenda items that anybody would like to bring up on the call? All right, I hope that was a sufficiently long pause. Uh, thanks everyone for joining and um, we'll see you all in two weeks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye.